Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and I am out here today with my portable washing machine. I use my mini bike to get around because my leg, my knee is blown out and I'm going to use the solar power from my off-grid electronics lab to wash a load of laundry today. Um, we're at 13.5 volts and in float mode right now so uh, we're looking good batteries are all happy so I'm gonna run the inverter and an extension cord and wash a load of laundry right here right outside the uh, shop and we've got the uh, wagon over here with everything we need and a bucket of water so I'm gonna get this going while it's beautiful out so I've got some laundry here Melanie pre-sorted, so I'm just going to throw it all in there and see what fits. Now this is going to be completely solar powered. Looks like I might be able to get it all in there. It's quite a batch of laundry. Oh yeah, that was a nice bunch of laundry I can put in there. It holds a fair amount of stuff. Not bad. I'll have to fix that when I get in. So. Um, turn it on standard setting, make sure the drain is off. I'm going to put the water in. We've got water in a bucket. I've got my ring off just if anybody notices because I'm going to be working on electronics. It's something I can do sitting down with my knee blown out. Now, somebody noted, mentioned it looks like I'm getting around well. I have a compression bandage here and I'm putting all my weight in my right knee. The left one is just for balance right now. I want to get that to just above the top of the clothes. Now that's a five gallon bucket. So that's a good, good load of laundry. I'm going to, I'm going to give it the whole five. All right. That's a fair amount of laundry. And I'm not sure about how much here, but they say don't put very much. I'll see how that goes if I decide. And they need more. We'll put this on a six minute, minute cycle. Look at that guys. Off grid laundry washing. By the power of the sun. This machine is sitting out in the yard. All right, at the off grid homestead. The only power cable going to it is from my electronics lab. And the only power going to that are these wires going to the solar panels. Right there. Uh, these two aren't hooked up right now. So this is being powered by the sun entirely. I love it. Solar powered laundry washing machine. When the uh, first wash cycle is done, you just simply flip the lever to drain. So from standard over to drain. And let it drain. It's a gravity drain, so the water is just going to run out. Uh, and uh, I have it on a raised pallet for that purpose. When that's done draining, I'll flip it back over to standard and I'll refill the washing machine with water for the rinse cycle. And then after that, we'll get to the spin. Okay, now it's time for the rinse. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. Okay. Make sure your clothes are covered well. There's a five gallon bucket, did just fine. Put it on for another six minutes or so. I like to do um, three cycles at six minutes with a 10 or 15, 20 minute wait in between. So basically I do a six minute wash and a little bit of a soak for a while and then another six minute cycle and a soak and another six minute. And I'm probably going overboard. I think uh, some people said they only need a two minute wash cycle with this machine to get good clean laundry. 
but I'm doing a full load so I'd rather be over cautious and it's solar power so it doesn't hurt a thing it isn't costing me a cent here to run this all right guys my wash cycles are done I spun the dial on the drain it's got a gravity feed drain so we'll wait a few minutes for that water to stop flowing and then we'll put everything into the spin cycle so we'll be back in a minute okay guys it's done draining I'm going to open up the spin side pull out the little plastic insert put it out of my way for now grab some clothes they're all winded up, wound up together here All right. put some clothes in there now you don't want to go overboard on filling the spinner you don't want to hurt the machine so just put a, a few pieces of clothing in there I'm going to do probably half the load in there right now yeah probably about half the load so I'd say for every load of laundry you do it's going to be about two loads uh, in the spinner to uh, to get the water out it's about what I'm what I'm learning here okay then put the plastic thing back down inside there give a little push close your spinner door close your lid put your spin timer on two minutes and that's going to spin the water out of your laundry very well. And you notice it doesn't shake that much, and it's not that loud. I've seen household laundry machines that are way louder. And powered by these solar panels right here. Pretty awesome, guys. Right now I'm burning 240 watts of power on the spin cycle, and the wash cycle is only 120 watts of power pretty impressive and I won't ever be doing both at the same time so I could run this washing machine all day long without any fear of running out of power actually one of these solar panels is 240 watts by the way so gives you an idea one of these panels could power this machine how cool is that by the way leave the select switch on drain while you got your spin cycle running so all the water can drain out okay it's winding down I wait for that to stop spinning inside Okay, remove the little plastic tab, set it aside, and then we can pull out our clothes, which are really amazingly just moist to the touch. I can't believe, I can't believe they're just damp to the touch. There's, this is incredible. Look at this shirt. There's no water dripping out of that. It's incredible. This is an amazing machine. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the clothes in the spinner. And then we will be done with our load of laundry for today. Powered by the sun. Well guys, there it is. Solar powered laundry day. Uh, I'm still in float mode, pulling in 72 watts of power at 13 volts. So we're doing pretty good here. 